hi guys welcome back to my channel so today guys i have an, a, a tutorial for you guys a makeup tutorial and i'm gonna be showing you how i was able to achieve this beautiful look on this beautiful model her skin is so beautiful so first off guys i'm just cleaning up her face with a baby wipe and a micellar skin water a list of all the products to be in the description box if this is your first time on my channel you're welcome I do a little bit of everything, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, and everything good. So guys, I'm just prepping her skin. Um, I'm applying a moisturizer on her skin just to prep the skin before I apply the actual makeup. It's very important to prep the skin so everything, so the makeup can actually sit properly on the skin. Um, everybody has their own technique of makeup and I have so many techniques of makeup I I just typically I just go with the flow I just go with the flow I go with I go as the spirit leads me <laughs> so guys I'm just prepping the skin here I did not skip any part of this video I did not um, fast forward anything I just wanted the, um, the video to go at its own pace um, this is the normal um, space of the video like when I recorded it there was I didn't fast forward anything cuz I, I want I want you to be able to learn like see all the steps makeup actually takes time it puts in like there's a, a lot goes into makeup like you work on the skin and everything before you actually get the before you actually get to a final result so I didn't skip anything. I want you guys to actually see all the things that goes into makeup. So enjoy, guys. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. So after applying the foundation with a brush, I'm using a beauty blender to just pat it in. This step is important to just make the makeup sink into the skin. Beauty blenders are very important. So I'm applying a blush and pretty much any lipstick will work depends on the look you're going for so i'm just blending now with a brush and i go over it with a beauty blender the same beauty blender i use for the foundation so the same beauty blender i'm using right here makeup is fun trust me it's, it's something i enjoy doing so i don't see it as work all of this may seem like a lot to you but this look is typically kind of a glam kind of look and you really don't have to do all this step but i'm just showing you what a glam look looks like and what goes into achieving this look so i'm just blending the blush with a brush going over it with a beauty blender makeup is like cardio you just have to blend 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 you can't be in a hurry to get a finish a good finish result you have to be patient and just take your time to blend there is no rush so that is just what i'm doing i'm going in and out back and forth just to make sure everything is done properly so right now i'm applying a concealer my favorite concealer in the whole wide world which is a juve place concealer that concealer is magic yes i said it so i'm just applying the concealer and to highlight uh, pretty much you need a brighter concealer so i'm just blending that in with a beauty sponge just tap 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 just blending everything in so quick question guys how do you use a beauty blender wet or dried i know i've seen a couple of videos online people say oh um they really don't have to wet the beauty blender i'm like okay that is new so just leave a comment down below like how do you use a beauty blender do you use it wet or dry I use my wet i've never tried the dried one but hopefully someday i will so i'm just contouring her nose with a dark um foundation stick and i'm using the brush to just apply that that just gives the, the nose definition so i'm just contouring her nose her skin is so beautiful oh my god so i'm just now i'm gonna go over the contour with a beauty blender and it, it, the reason I go over a beauty blender, I use a beauty blender to go over everything is you don't want harsh lines on your makeup. So it's important you go back and forth with beauty blender just to make everything look smooth. 
so now I'm applying a setting powder underneath the high with a brush I'm just blending that in so it can sink into the skin so I'm applying the powder to all the places that I lighter which is underneath the high the forehead the chin those are where I'm applying the setting powder to right now so now I'm just um, um, outlining her blush this step is I like to do it because it just makes the blush stand out so now I'm going over the nose contour with a darker contour powder just to chisel that out You have to blend, you can't be in a hurry, you just have to take your time, otherwise your work would not look neat. So I go in, out, in, out, back, front. So now I'm just um, baking underneath her eye. You don't have to bake, but baking just sets everything in place. And for the fact that I do my foundation before my eye look i have tendency of having eyeshadow fallout on the face and to prevent that i bake and just let it be done until i'm done with the eye look then i just sweep it out with a brush and some powder so baking is good it gives you that bright on the on the eye it all depends on the look you're going for and it also helps um pick up the excess fallout from your eyeshadow if you do your skin work your foundation your contour your highlight before your eye looks so it's a step it's a process so i'm just baking on the knee to high and i'm using the um laura messier translucent powder i'm just baking all the places i highlighted and now i'm going over to the brow and for my brow i'm using my anastasia beverly brow pomade in ebony and a brow brush so just drawing a brow with the brow the brow has to it has to look good like it's very important that the brow looks good you know once you get the brow every other thing falls in place brows are so 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 important like once you miss it you miss your face like the face is just gonna look weird so you have to make sure that the brow fits the frame of the face so i take my time on brows you know it has to look good it just has to look good so this is just me outlining a brow i'm shading it i'm taking my time yes so i'm on the other side now typically everything i do on one side i do on the other side just drawing a brow I'm very light handed with the brush there is no pressure very light handed just outlining a brow You can see me creating hair strokes with a brow pomade and brow brush you know if you haven't watched my tutorial on um how you could draw your brow or learn how to draw your brow i'm going to link that video in the description box you should check out that video it's really helpful i have in that video i show three different ways of which you can draw your brow you should check it out and improve your brow game like this is 2021 you don't want to walk around with ugly looking brows so go check out that video and help yourself help yourself sis you know it's 2021 everything has to be on point so i'm going back in with my morphe pencils to just you know just to define the brow more just to make it look better you know and now i'm highlighting the brow with my concealer my juvia's place concealer I'm prepping a highlight right now for eyeshadow. 
I wasn't really sure the look I wanted to do for her. Like I said, I always just go with the flow. I go as the spirit leads me. So I'm just prepping a highly with some P. Lewis base and I'm using the brush to apply that, just blending everything in. I find out that the P. Louis base is very good with eyeshadow. It sets the under high. There is no creasing with that and the colors just pop a lot compared to when I use other eyeshadow primer. So I think it's a good buy because since I found out about it, I've bought I've ordered more so I guess it's good and a lot of makeup artists online uses it so blending that in like with eyeshadows you just have to be patient to blend 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 just take your time blend everything in whatever you do on one eye you do on the other eye so and you don't have to apply so much pressure on the brush because when you put too much pressure it takes away from the product so but when you are light-handed you are going to get a real the true color of the eyeshadow or whatever brand you're using so when applying any form of makeup, you have to be light and uh, don't be too hard. Don't put so much pressure. Just take it easy and your look will come out good just the way you want it. So I'm just going over. Uh, I'm using matte colors for this look right now. All the, the two colors I've used are like matte colors. No shine to it. No shimmery. No glitters. No, you know, all those shiny things. No, it's just matte colors and after applying this matte color on one eye i did exactly the same thing on the, on the other eye and you're gonna see me blend that out and it comes out really really good so i'm just taking my time with my eyeshadow brush and just blending that in like you can't be in a hurry no you just have to take your time so I'm blending the eyeshadow in, just putting everything together and make sure it looks really good. Yeah, because it's very important that your makeup looks good because people are going to see these pictures. Or even when a person goes outside, other people will look at it and be like, oh, okay, this job really looks neat. Like the person or whoever did this makeup know what he or she is doing. So... I'm still blending and I'm going in and out back and forth just to make sure everything looks put together you know just smoking out the outer eye and also blending it in So now I'm gonna apply some glitter. Like this was the final look, but uh, I was like, uh, uh, it looks too basic. Let me apply some glitter just to make the eye pop. I wanted it to pop a little bit, so I'm applying some glitter right now. Just something to make the eye look more pretty. So I'm just depositing that with a brush, and I blend everything in so everything looks seamless. I'm applying that with a brush. And anything I do on one eye, I do on the second eye. It is so, so important. I cannot stress that enough. And I find out that once you work that way, it's easier for you to remember. So you don't do one and be like, by the time you're done, you forgot what you put next afterwards. So work on both eyes as you go. It helps a whole lot. So I'm just going to let that glue sit for a little bit. And I'm going to apply the glitter with a brush just spreading that out and after that we could 
move to the next step so i'm blending the eyeshadow with a brush just blending it out blending 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 it out you have to be patient to blend so now i applying the milk jumbo pencil in a waterline um it all depends on the look that you're going for like i said people still prefer the black one the white the nude color one so it all depends on the look you're going for so i just apply the milk pencil underneath the eye and it pretty much came out really good so i'm just setting underneath the eye again so everything can look neat and smooth yeah so i'm applying the mascara right now on the bottom lashes i love to apply mascara on the bottom lashes it just makes the eye look very flat for you and the lashes are standing you can see it so when you look at the eyes you're like wow so i love the result it gives to me so i always apply some mascara you have to get a good mascara though a mascara with a tiny a tiny applicator so you can get into this little little one so i'm applying the mascara on the lashes look how i just transformed the eye she doesn't even have the actual lashes now but the eye looks beautiful everything looks clean and neat so i'm still applying my mascara just applying it bit by bit So now I'm applying some dark eyeshadow underneath the eye just to smoke out underneath the eye. I find out that when you apply a bright color like the white pencil, the jumbo, milk jumbo white pencil for underneath the eye, I find out that applying some sort of colors underneath the eye just changes everything and everything looks really really good. I just applied one lashes and applying the second one like lashes are bomb like you can see the way these lashes just took the look this whole look to another level so get you a good lashes like it's just gonna change the whole look so I'm just fixing her lashes and the eyes look so pretty I love the eyes everything looks nice and put together so I'm just putting that in place then I'm going to apply some lipstick on her right now and I'm using the uncensored by Fenty Beauty and this red is the bomb like it's just a perfect red for every skin color I love it the consistency is amazing and it dries out really really fast like it dries out and it stays there it doesn't move no it's not one of those lipsticks we eat to drink uh -uh, it stays there all day so It's more flattering when you sculpt the lip like just draw the shape of the lip it looks more flattering and it gives you a fuller lip so that is something i love to do a lot when doing this you just have to be focused because any mistake you're just going to mess up the whole look so you have to be patient and just no hurry, no rush, just take your time and apply the lipstick. You can see me going front and back, front and back, front and back. Just to make sure it looks good. Is 
it's important to clean the sides of our lid. You don't want the person walking out of here with lipsticks or lip stain or one thing or another. So it's important to go back in with your powder brush, just blend everything. The cheek, the blush, everything. Just smooth it in out, blend it in. That alone gives you this airbrush finishing effect. You don't want to walk around with lines on your face from makeup not being blended properly. So that is why I take my time to blend. It might seem like it's a lot, but typically this took all of this took about an hour. And we're still even like gisting in between. So I'm just going back in with my highlighter. So typically this took about an hour and trust me if you are doing for yourself it won't take this long because you are used to your face but this is me working on a different person for the first time so i have to figure out uh face structure and what looks good on my face So I'm just applying some highlighter, some extra highlighter. Highlighters are my favorite. Like I love highlighters so much. It just gives you that glow. The skin just looks more sumptuous and beautiful. So if you've been sleeping on highlighters, you should get one. There are so many highlighters out there and they're pretty much some good ones from the drugstore. So you should check it out. And this is just her admiring herself and she sure loves what she see. So guys, if you have watched to this point and you enjoyed this video and you've, and you've learned something from this video, please hit the like button, please subscribe. Feel free to share this video with your friends and your loved ones. Somebody is definitely going to learn something from this video. And you know, just leave a comment down below. Tell me what look you want to see and i will create that look for you like i said a list of everything i use in this video will be, need, will be in the description box and do check out my instagram pages on the screen ada beauty arena underscore thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one bye you, all tenderness is out the window what you do to me when the cold bites